Welcome everybody here. It's my great pleasure to greet you here in Armenia, the President's Palace, because I know what you do, and I really value what you do, both as, as an institution and one of the famous ones in Germany and in Europe, but also in Armenia. I've seen what you are doing in Armenia. It's quite impressive, and I think your visit with this sort of a big delegation marks also the reality that maybe there is more that we can do together than what we are doing. And I hope that's the case and that you, are, you should be sure absolutely that you'll get the full support of the President and his administration to make uh, this collaboration deeper and more stronger and more effective. So welcome to Armenia. Uh, we are here now, it's a, it's a big delegation from DESI, so we are 15 people, among us are, uh, are members of the board of uh, directors, uh, to be here for a couple of days to discuss with our friends and colleagues uh, from Kendall and from the Alcanian National Laboratory, you know, the state of the art, what uh, we are doing these days, is this on the right track, and also this discussing, you know, what is the, the way forward in our a discussion and we actually do exactly what you have been saying that we are you know, seeing now how could we lift this cooperation on an even higher level and uh, there are many many uh, things we want to attack in, in the future. The summary of our discussions and uh, uh, this uh, declaration which was yesterday signed at the residency of Ambassador. We had a discussion and revealed the potential of our cooperation. The collaboration between two institutions began in uh, mid-1960s and entered into new era in 1990s when we became a member of international collaboration at DZ. And uh, today we continue this successful path of collaboration, but I also think that we have a potential to increase the scope of our cooperation, including uh, data challenge and data analysis, developing new techniques in this field. I consider this a great achievement. First of all, this collaboration with our research center, specifically with Candle, it's a great achievement. And I think it's time to celebrate this achievement, but it's also, as you said, it's the time to think about the future. And the future is not only the instruments or machinery that's getting bigger and more effective, but it's also how do we manage the data that we get from that experiments? We can get as much as, as we wish, but if we cannot manage to process here, then what's the use of it? What's the use of spending so much money? And that opens a new path for collaboration, which is not only on, on the hardware side or software applications to specific scientific programs, but also the one that you mentioned, which is one of the big questions in front of humanity, how to manage in this new world of data. So I agree with you that whatever we will do, or you will do continuing in Armenia, should have two heads. One phase should be the research, the other one should be the education. One will supply the other, and the other one will support the education. So I think if we focus, we have to think about both R&D on a specific sector, including the big data management, and the other one, how to help each other to develop the next generation of scientists. This is a national laboratory in Hamburg, and we are having a long-term cooperation with Kendall and the Alkhanian National Laboratory here in Armenia uh, in science and technology development. Uh, and it's, of course, wonderful to see how the president of uh, Armenia is supporting this. Uh, so this is, uh, for us, of course, an, an enormous uh, 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 sign that you know uh, the president is behind that, that the president supports science, knowledge as the future of a society, uh, and I think that's very good to see. So we are based on uh, the wonderful support of uh, the president continuing now this cooperation on a new level, uh, and uh, we will have now exchange of young students between us, with the exchange of science, also sharing 
uh, technology and sharing uh, common uh, common infrastructures in the future. But uh, a very important point is actually that we are preparing uh, the next generation of scientists for the new challenges of uh, the coming years. And one of them is, you know, this uh, digitalization, information technology. How can we use machine learning, artificial intelligence, you know, to you know to uh, devise new technologies and to devise you know, a new way of interacting with matter and with large scale infrastructures.